Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm gonna do a little bit of, uh, <laughs> ouch. I needed to add something to some pages in a journal, journal that I'm making. This is for my design team project for Nevermore Creation. And so I'm gonna show you how I, how I did this to be able to add this into my journal that I am working on. I have a piece of avocado dyed paper because that is what I'm actually using um, for this journal. And let's see. I used a... Let's do a tag. We'll do a tag. Okay, so what I have, I have my Distress Ink in Peacock Feathers and Dusty Concord um, Mowed Lawn. I have some Q-tips, so um, I've taken five Q-tips and attached them to each other with a rubber band. I'm going to be using both sides. This one will be for my Concord, Dusty Concord, and this will be Peacock Feathers. Um, and then I have a couple single ones here that I, I used. So um, I also have out my Color in Watercolor Twist and with the green and so let's just go ahead and show you um, what I'm doing so her her kit is with story wisteria and roses it's absolutely beautiful I just needed a couple little accents and rather than stenciling I decided that I would try this technique and I really like it so I want to share it with you so I'm gonna start with using a q-tip and getting some of the the green and just coming in and making a couple places where I might have a vine because wisteria is a vine um, you may have seen it growing from like a trellis or a patio cover and so we're gonna just do that and then come across where the leaves would be across the top so that's what I did. Just lightly come in. We'll do it here also. Come down. Maybe a short one. A short one. And a long one. Again, off the top for some green. This um, tag is taking the color much better. Okay, so just kind of messy like. It's all good. And then I'm going to put the cover on because they all kind of look <laughs> similar. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open the peacock feathers. I have my peacock feather um, five. You could actually do more than this, but you'll see why I chose to do five. So I'm just going to go around. I'm actually going to kind of move my... Um, my hand around as I'm putting it on okay so because if you just go straight if I had it if I had something here so if you just go in a straight line you're going to kind of get something like that but by moving it around you will get the different sizes and you can come back in and add a little okay let's come over here you can see on this one there's one that's really dominant okay so now we'll come in oh I've got to do our other okay and then you can just use one to get the long effect Okay, see, and I'm turning just using one, and then I kind of go back in and see if there's some places that I need to fill in. Okay, so now cover up peacock feathers, come over to the dusty concord, and we'll do the same thing again. Okay. 
I've done this with kids, teaching them how to, because you can do it the other way and it's a hollyhock. So like this way, and now you have hollyhocks. <laughs> so back in the day when I used to volunteer at the school and teach, come in and, and teach an art project, this is one that I have done. And I, I like the wisteria on the tags because it um, is at the top. And usually the tag is going to be in something. This way you're going to see something. You'll see something. It'll be pretty. It'll stick out the top. Okay, so now I'm coming in with my Color in Watercolor Twist that I got at Ross. And I'm going to go ahead and make the line and some other green. And then I, it came with a brush. Let me grab the brush. Get it wet. I don't need it super wet. So you can wipe it onto a baby wipe or something. And I'm going to just come in and I want to get that, that line. Is what I'm doing first. So we'll do both of the peacock feather lines. Because I want it to be there. Um, okay, I'm going to come back and get the purple one. You can see that's softening my, um, my ink as well. And I'm okay with that. So... So I'm coming back in now with the water and I'm softening or trying to soften the whole thing. Get my green going. Okay. So then... I'm going to come back in. I'm not even going to get this wet. And I'm just going to do just a little bit more. Around and around and down with my ink already inked. And the water is going to grab the ink. And give me... the wisteria look okay so that you can leave it without adding the water if you like that or you can come in and well I didn't do the <laughs> forgot to get the green but that's okay <laughs> just come in and trying to make them look a little mushy and they do they look like they've been watercolored and then come back in with your That's just a little thing that I thought I would show you how I might do it. Okay, so now I have Wisteria 
items to put in my journal along with the beautiful images that came in the kit. So, and I think I'll go, I'll, I'll also be going and putting up, I, the reason I wanted to do it is I have a couple of pages that I wanted to do it across the top of the pages. So that is my little flowery vine tutorial. And again, turn it the other way. You've got hollyhocks. <laughs> Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to, to subscribe. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for being here. Bye.